What's up, buddies? Yeah. Eric here from Laser Scanning TV, and I have great news. Uh, the new release from Autodesk uh, 27 uh, came out for a week ago, and there is some great information about point cloud uh, processing. And in this episode of Laser Scanning TV, I will show you the new stuff from Autodesk. Stay tuned. Uh, if you are an Autodesk guy, you will know this time is the time for the release. If you are complete new here on the channel, Autodesk and Revit. Revit is the one of the biggest BIM programs on the market for building information modeling. And Autodesk is the largest provider of CAD software in the world. And they are, uh, now show their information to their newest update for the 27 version. And in this upgrade, there are two interesting tools for point cloud users. And one is that they have now an integration for the um, Recap Pro for Revit plugin. And this plugin, I can show you what this plugin is doing here in my video. Uh, stay tuned. Watching with me the video. The new stuff is this Autodesk uh, is now able to uh, use mesh meshes. This means uh, meshes generated originally from point clouds uh, in this. Um, Meshes are generated in Recap, and after we have the message uh, processed in Recap, we have now a plugin in Revit that you can import it here, the meshes. And then you can use these uh, meshes uh, as Revit family, and you have also the optionality to, uh, um, yeah, to click some points, make lines, or the extra, um, yeah, make manipulation with the meshes, what I understand. That's the new functionality. And why this makes sense, I will stop this for you. Uh, this makes sense if you have large areas, super big point, point clouds, that make you also your Revit with the great Revit engine slow or slower. And with message, you have uh, same object information but lower points. And for some customer, it is maybe more comfortable to working with the meshes or to share meshes to other clients. It's maybe easier as sending point clouds. I think that, that's great. And uh, where the technology coming from? I think for one year, Autodesk acquired this British company PointViews, and PointViews was a company who developed technology. They called them scan to mesh, I would say, also generate point clouds and make mesh from that. And they had a, a program and developed this. And I think uh, Autodesk acquired and now used their technology in their Recap Pro and uh, also now in Revit. Oh, that is one functionality. You can use this. I think it's a great tool. If you're a Revit modeler, you maybe you like it, or maybe for facility management or other application, it's this a uh, good. Then is there also some more updates, and I find one update is also interesting, and this is the Topo Solid improvement. And with the new release in Revit, also the user now have the option to using more uh, points in Revit. In the previous version, uh, you had only 10,000 points, and now you can uh, uh, going f um, to 20,000 points uh, in the newest version, what you can use as base point for your topographic uh, surface model. I think that's also a big increasing uh, and uh, maybe useful for customers because with more points you can have more um, accurate uh, surface calculations and survey models. I think that's a two great tools. So you have it if you have a uh, subscription or you can make an update, you get it for free. As is, you don't have to pay extra. If you have the new version, you can use both uh, of these uh, new functionality from Revit. One point. You already have tested this, you use it, how you find this. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Maybe you tell other guys that this channel is existing. I appreciate that you are listening to the show. I say bye-bye, Eric. Until the next episode.